Did a mistake give us chocolate as we know it? The accidental invention that changed desserts forever. Let's take a trip down sweet memory lane to a moment in time that chocolate lovers should be eternally grateful for. A delicious mistake. Over a century ago, a chocolatier named Daniel Peter tried to concoct a new kind of chocolate treat. The goal was simple. Combine the rich flavor of chocolate with the creamy goodness of milk. Seems straightforward, right? But it was anything but. The challenge was that water in the milk kept making the chocolate seize up, turning it into a gritty mess. Then came along Henry Nestlé, who had recently figured out how to make powdered milk by evaporating the water from liquid milk. When Nestlé and Peter joined forces, something magical happened. They mixed cocoa and sugar with Nestlé's powdered milk, and voila, the world's first milk chocolate that could be shaped into bars and didn't spoil quickly was born. This delightful mistake not only satisfied the sweet tooths of their era, but also transformed the confectionery industry worldwide, leading to the delicious varieties of chocolate we all relish today. So the next time you unwrap your favorite chocolate bar, remember, it might just be here because of a happy accident. How is a tiny bird challenging everything we know about navigation? The mystery of the vast voyager. Picture the tiniest bird you can think of. Got it? Now, imagine that tiny creature embarking on a journey that would make even seasoned travelers gawk. Yes, I'm talking about the humble ruby-throated hummingbird. This little bird, weighing less than a nickel, flies nonstop across the Gulf of Mexico during its migration. That's over 500 miles without taking a break. How does it pull off this incredible feat with a brain the size of a pea? Scientists are still trying to crack that nut. Some say it's their super-efficient metabolism. Others think it's their keen memory for locations. Or maybe they're just navigating by the stars, like the greatest explorers of history. Whatever their secret, these small aviators are showing us that sometimes the smallest beings can have the most incredible abilities. So next time you see a hummingbird, just remember, you're not just looking at a cute bird, but a record-setting globetrotter that defies the limits of what we might think is possible. The plant that can live forever? Unveiling the secret of eternal green. Ever wish you had a plant at home that you couldn't possibly kill? What if I told you there's a plant that's been alive since the time of the pharaohs? Yes, a single plant that's been kicking it for over 2,000 years. Meet the incredible Welwitschia mirabilis, a bizarre plant living in the Namib desert that just refuses to call it quits. With only two leaves that grow continuously from the moment they sprout, this hardy survivor can live up to 5,000 years, maybe more. In the brutal desert conditions, where scorching days are followed by freezing nights, the Welwitschia thrives by harvesting fog onto its leaves, which then drips down to its roots. It's like it learned to brew its own life potion. Scientists are baffled by its resilience and ability to live through what would be multiple human lifetimes. Funny enough, it's not the prettiest plant. But hey, looks aren't everything, especially when you're an immortal green genius. The loudest creature relative to its size? Prepare to be surprised. When you think of loud animals, you might imagine lions roaring or elephants trumpeting. But there's a tiny creature you wouldn't expect to be in the running for the loudness trophy. This animal, believe it or not, is a frog. But not just any frog. The water boatman or more scientifically, Micronecta scoltsi. This little insect is no bigger than a grain of rice, yet it can belt out a song that's an astonishing 99.2 decibels in volume. That's as loud as a power mower running right next to you. And how does this minuscule musician do it? It stridulates, which means it rubs body parts together, like crickets do with their wings. This itty-bitty bug uses its private parts to hit the high notes, gnashing them against the ribbed surface of its abdomen. Experts say if a boatman were as big as a human, it would be the loudest creature on Earth. So next time you're by a pond and hear what sounds like an underwater orchestra, remember, those intense beats might just be the love songs of these tiny concert maestros. A castle that's been under construction for centuries? Imagine a castle so grand that its construction has been going on for not 10, not 50, but over 900 years. We're talking about the mysterious and breathtaking Alhambra in Granada, Spain. It's a fortress, a palace, 
and a small city all in one. It began its life way back in AD 89 as a small fortress, but it wasn't until the mid-13th century that it started transforming into the magnificent palace we know today. What's even more fascinating is the blend of cultures in its architecture. The Alhambra is a treasure trove of Muslim art, and it's also influenced by Christian Renaissance architecture. It was here that Christopher Columbus got the royal endorsement for his fateful voyage across the Atlantic. Despite being centuries old, the Alhambra is still not considered complete. It's a living testament to history, showing layers upon layers of past societies. Think about it. Something started by ancient hands is still here for us to explore and add to. Isn't that just mind-blowingly awesome? What's the deal with exploding watermelons? Have you ever heard of watermelons exploding like fireworks? No, it's not a cartoon or a movie effect. It's a real thing that can happen on farms. This strange event took place in China a few years back. Farmers were stunned when their watermelon fields started popping like popcorn. The culprit? A growth chemical called forchlorphenuron, which they used to make their watermelons grow faster. When they applied this chemical at the wrong time during rainy weather, it led to a spectacular and bizarre explosion of watermelons. But don't worry, you won't find exploding melons at your local supermarket. These were just some very unusual farming circumstances. So next time you're snacking on a juicy slice of watermelon, remember this curious case of fruit that couldn't handle the pressure. Can water really catch fire? Uncover the mystery! It sounds impossible, right? Water putting out a fire seems like common sense, but there's a place on Earth where water defies all logic and catches fire. Welcome to the burning springs of New York, a curious natural wonder that has baffled minds for centuries. The secret behind this strange phenomenon lies beneath the water's surface, where natural gases like methane seep through. When the gas bubbles reach the surface, all it takes is a spark to set them ablaze. Native Americans discovered this perplexing feature long ago, using the flames for warmth and light. Later, settlers harnessed this flammable water to thrill visitors and even cook food. So how about that for a twist of nature? Water so contradictory, it might just light up your thoughts. Could ants really take over an entire island? When we think of world domination, ants might be the last creatures that come to mind. But what if I told you there's an island where ants rule everything? It might sound like science fiction, but it's a fact. Welcome to Christmas Island, located in the Indian Ocean. This island experiences an annual phenomenon that seems straight out of a fantasy book. Each year, around 50 million red crabs embark on a massive migration from the forest to the ocean to lay their eggs. But this crab army isn't alone. They are closely followed by an even bigger army, yellow crazy ants. These ants spray formic acid to defend themselves and prey on the crabs, creating a spectacle unlike any other. This peculiar event has shaped the entire ecosystem of the island, tilting the scales in favor of these tiny yet mighty crazy ants. So while we often overlook ants in our day-to-day -day life, on Christmas Island, they are the true emperors. Showcasing that size isn't everything when it comes to conquering territories. What tree bleeds red? The astonishing bloodwood tree. Ever walked in the forest and imagined trees could bleed? Well, there's one that does, and it's not a part of any scary story. Meet the peculiar bloodwood tree found in South Africa. This tree is like something out of a fantasy novel. When you cut into its bark, it oozes a thick red sap that looks startlingly like blood. But why does this tree have such a bizarre feature? The sap actually seals the wound to protect the tree much like how our blood clots to heal cuts. But that's not all. Local cultures have been using this blood for its medicinal properties for centuries. This amazing tree sparks a vital conversation about the wonders of nature and how it continues to surprise us. It's a living reminder that our planet is full of mysteries waiting to be explored, and who knows what else is out there with secret talents of its own. So the next time you see a tree, just think. It might have its own magical secrets, just like the incredible Bloodwood tree. Can cats understand human languages? Imagine talking to your cat, and it actually understands every word you say. Well, while they might not understand our languages the way we do, cats can recognize their owner's voice. 
they can learn to understand certain words if there's a reward involved. Like for instance, if you consistently say treat before giving them a yummy snack, they might pick up on that. Cats also respond to the tone of our voices, so if you're gentle and loving, they're more likely to be sweet and cuddly back. And although they won't sit down to have a heart-to-heart -heart chat in English, they have their own ways of communicating. Cats use meows, purrs, and a whole bunch of body movements to tell us how they're feeling. So the next time your cat meows, they might be saying more than you think. Follow me for more fun facts.